guys, how's it going? So I got a request from one of my awesome subscribers to do an apartment tour. And when one of you guys suggests a video, I like to do it if I can. However, since my apartment is so small, I decided I would do like a little twist on things so that this vlog isn't like four minutes long. <laughs> and I'm going to share with you guys something that I love and something that I hate from all of the rooms in our house. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So this is our front door. And when you stand right here in front of the front door, <laughs> This is our living room. I really love this big open window right here. I love this window. It lets in so much natural light and it makes this whole space look so much brighter. I love that window. And I love how open the space is. I love that it leads like right into the living room. And this is our like little dining room. Hi, Kenley. Say, I'm having lunch right now. This was our dining room and we did have a table set up and everything. But uh, I took the table down because I needed it for McKinley's uh, one-year-old cake smash pictures. And I just never put it back up. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so it's kind of like been turned into just a Kinley sitting area. That's our deep freezer. But it was, a, it was a dining room. And our carpet looks awful. That's something else I hate about this apartment is that there's so much carpet. And it gets stained really bad. I wish that our landlord would have gotten uh, hardwood floors because it would have been a lot easier for both of us. Goodness gracious. So this is our living room and Carly's eating lunch. <laughs> that swing I've put there for now because it's too big to go anywhere else. So for now it's just going to be there. But over here, this is our kitchen. And I really love this big huge counter right here. I love that we have more space and that it's uh, such a nice space to cook food in and prepare and all that stuff. I really like that space. Uh, I don't like, however, how small it is. It is so small. See, there's our stove and our sink over there and our dishwasher. It's a really small kitchen. Like me and Devin cooking in here, it's, it's challenging. So usually only one of us cooks. That's our refrigerator and it's really small. Like really small um, but I really do love the fact that this is here I like that it's you know nice and big and we can use it I also love that there's hardwood here makes it so much easier to clean and mop and all that stuff I just I really like that I really like the hardwood in here don't really like the color but <laughs> the fact that it's hardwood at all I really like that and going down our hallway this is a pantry door that I'm not going to show you guys because it's really, really messy in there. <laughs> well, not like really messy. It's not bad, bad. But it is messy in there. And I just really don't want to show you guys. <laughs> but this is our pantry. It's kind of like a storage slash food storage place. Uh, we've stuck our cereals in here because that cabinet space right there, it's not big enough or tall enough to put cereal boxes. So we've stuck them in here instead. So that's where we keep cereal and uh, diapers, wipes, I'm trying to think of what else we keep in there. Ointment, because I have a certain two-year-old who will get into stuff. So everything goes in here. And then this is our room, slash Carly's room, because Carly has decided to sleep with us again. When we first moved into this apartment, this used to just be Carly's room. This is when I was pregnant with Kenley. And her crib used to be, I think, over in this section, in that corner right there. So this used to be her room. But then we had Kenley. And we did co-sleep with her for a little while, but then she got bigger and they both started accumulating toys and it just, this room became too little for the two of them. So we moved him over there. <laughs> but this is our room for now. And it's really, really small. Like you have that little walkway and then you have that other little walkway and then that's kind of tight. And this is where we keep our uh, clothes right here because our closet right here, I'll show you guys. This is our closet, and it's not big enough to hold both mine and Devin's clothes. So it's kind of like a storage room. So instead, we just have dressers. But I really don't mind it. We only really come in here to sleep, and that's it. So it like, doesn't bother me that it's so small. And then right across from our bedroom right here is our laundry room. It's, again, very small, like really small. <laughs> uh, they have a washer and dryer downstairs, but it's all the way downstairs, like three flights of stairs. And I don't want to go all the way down there with two kids. Plus, I'm pregnant. No, 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 not doing that. So we just squeezed our washer and dryer in here, 
and I have this little tiny here. I'll show you. I'll show you guys how little it is when I open this door right here. If I can do it with one hand, that's how small it is. <laughs> like you can't even open your dryer door all the way. <laughs> it stops right there. So then I have to get a basket usually right here and I just have to pitch my clothes from this side to this side. <laughs> But uh, that's how small our laundry room is, and I really need to get us a new filter. Like, I need to do that today. Sorry, guys, that I haven't, like, super clean today, but this is a spur-of-the-moment video. But this is our tiny laundry room slash utility room. Moving on down here, this is our blanket and towel storage area. We have so many blankets, you guys. Girls' blankets, our blankets, blankets everywhere. And then these are some towels that we have clean. I have others that are dirty. And down here, like way down here, is our dirty clothes area that I'm not going to show you guys because it's dirty and that's gross. But uh, this is our blanket and towel area. We have so many. And continuing on down here, this is our bathroom, and I really love our bathroom. I love the tile. I guess that is tile. I don't know what that is. I'm having a brain fart moment. Oh my gosh, pregnancy brain. I know what this is. It's not tile. Uh, linoleum. That's what this is. I do like, I think this is linoleum. Anyway, I do like this pattern. I think it's really pretty, and I like the gray, and I like our shower curtain. And actually, the shower curtain and the rug came with the apartment, so bonus. <laughs> and I love that the toilet is so close to the, to, to the tub because it's nice to be able to sit there and watch the girls bathe and just, you know, get up and go over there if I have to, especially being pregnant because I can't just sit on the floor. My sciatic nerve will start to aggravate me. Something that I really don't care much for this bathroom is the fact that we have this cabinet, cabinet, we have this counter space and that is it. So we've had to get like a little extra counter space by getting one of these tables. I think we got that from like Walmart or something and we just extended it ourselves. <laughs> but this really does need to be extended. If this were just extended a little bit to give us a little bit more room for storage, that'd be great because all we have is this little area and it's not big. Like, it's really not big. We have this little area, and we have that little space up top. I need to clean my mirror, guys. I'm sorry. And that's all we have. That's all of the storage space that we have. So, we got this little table, and I got this basket to put all of our other stuff on. So, I mean, that's kind of a downer, but it's not the end of the world. I don't hate this bathroom. I just think that that's a bit of a downer. Moving on to the girls' room. This is the girls' room, or what used to be the master bedroom, and it's actually a decent size master. Like, it's not bad. Like, we used to have our bed this way, I think it was. Yeah, we used to put our bed here, and one of our dressers over here, which is where the other dresser is, <laughs> and I think our other one was against this wall. I can't remember how we had it set up, but anyway, it's really not bad. It's really not a bad area. And I really love it for the girls. I love all the natural light in here because this is the... Uh, only room besides the living room that has the most natural height. Same with us. We keep all of the girls' clothes in this dresser. They do have this big closet, and I'm so sorry for the hole, you guys. That was an accident. <laughs> I got clumsy and I fell. But anyway, uh, I would store it all in there, but we need more hangers, like really bad. So I thought it was just easier to put it in a dresser for right now. And I would show you guys the inside of their closet because it's actually pretty decent sized. It's like a walk-in closet. But their fall stuff is in there, and I really don't want to show you guys their fall clothes before the clothing haul video. So, sorry guys. <laughs> I would really like to, but I don't want to spoil it. This was another bathroom. I'm sure I could show you guys. This was another bathroom, but we've like converted it into a storage room because we were going to move. And we just never got all the stuff out of there. And we're going to move next year anyway, so what's the point? What's the point in unloading all this stuff from here just to, I mean, l l pack everything up again? What's that? You <laughs> peanut butter face. <laughs> Is that the bathroom? That was the bathroom. But uh, we just kind of converted into a storage room for now. Not the end of the world. We have another bathroom right there. So it's not like the end of the world. <laughs> but it used to be a bathroom. We thought we were going to move a lot sooner than we are, so that's why we did that. But I wanted to show you guys something before we leave this room. I haven't showed you guys this yet, 
but this is uh, Carly and McKinley's hospital boxes. I'm gonna try to show you guys stuff without showing you like my obstetrician or where they were born, you know, like those kind of details. But I'll show you guys some of the stuff that's in their hospital boxes. And in the center is Andy's ultrasound box. That's the um, shirt that I wore to announce what gender she was to my family and that's an ultrasound picture of her. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. But that's her little box. This is one of the things in Carly's hospital box. It's the very first t-shirt we ever got for her from the hospital. And that is her little hospital hat. She got two of them actually. There's a group of women from churches who knit hats for newborns, so we got two of them. And that is Carly's. And that bag right there, that bag is what all her stuff came in. And I really do need to decorate the K. It's Kenley's. This is uh, the shirt that we had made for her. And these are her two hats. Uh, one from the hospital and one that was knitted. And I really do need to do something about her M as well. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, do some kind of jewels or flowers or just something to make it decorative. I just kind of haven't gotten to it yet, but that's a goal of mine is to eventually get them decorated and pretty. And I really love this wall. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas for any videos that you would like to see, please drop me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. And an unboxing and review video is coming up this week, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that button so you don't miss those videos. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.